Hey, good morning, good morning guys. So we are on the road. We're going to be fishing for some steenies. The sea's quite flat. I'm with my mate Rhino. And we only have like a two hour period to go and fish for these things now. There's some rain coming. Just show them the yeah, it does not look pretty. But that's fine. We're gonna go try for a steenie. Um, just a smallish one or a big one or whatever. I don't I just wanna have a throw. They haven't been there in a long time, so I'm gonna check if there's something trying. Lacka, catch up to the Oaks Dino. <laughs> We get snails, yeah? Anyone up for a snail catch and cook? <laughs> Come buddy, out the road. Out the road, there you go. <coughs> It's not in a good spot though. Not in a very productive spot. I haven't caught many fish in front of the mouth. Calm y'all. Hey, first throws. New. Very nice temperature. And banks far pal. Okay, good morning. If I look a bit scruffy, I apologize. I've got flu and I've got all sorts of all sorts. Um, <laughs> I've had clients um, four days in a row now, so I am boop, boop tired. But yeah, we're fishing for stennies. I am fishing an Anaconda L 15 foot best rod made, best rod made for edibles. There is no better rod right So we're fishing small squid baits. Fishing a Pursuit 3, 6,000. Rhino's also fishing a Anaconda, some lighter braid. Um, so yeah, fishing quite light. We're just throwing squid, so maybe we can we can get a we can get a bite. Conditions are seas nice, but it's a bit windy. There's actually some very left of us here. Windy, I don't really like this wind, but the temperature is nice, the sea looks nice, nice um, color in the sea. So, hope let's get something. I'll show you guys how to rig this little, this little squid nana as well. So. Sweet, a little bit of a current here, I mean. Okay, so bank number two. This one's a bit deeper, but she's good. So the main idea what we're doing is we're trying to reach the back banks. Uh, if you guys look through here, you can't really go higher, but right at the back there, it's very far. It's a far bank. It's like a 140 meter throw almost. There's a bank right at the back there. And we're throwing tiny squid baits, trying to reach the bank. Light braid, 20, 30 pound braid, um, just to reach the bank because these fish sit all around them. There, Rana's right, got a nice throw now previous row was it not not great um, so what we're trying to do is we're trying to fish the actual bank you're trying to fish just in front of it or on top of it or just next to it depends how strong the bank is so it's, it's your discretion and you walk you throw you walk you throw you walk you throw so still very quiet but there is a lot of potential there's very there is potential so now you guys can see that bank nicely at the back there not an easy bank to get to, but there is a bank. This is the little squid bait. Um, that's a little 3 Berkeley Fusion. Circle look. Tiny little tentacles. And in the bottom here, I've got a little splittering. 
that I clip to my bait inside the splittering let's get some sun here for you guys inside there's just a little nylon dingle dangle a little bit of foam um, so yeah I'm throwing a running trace so in other words the sinker can slide there's no sinker wait, there's no sinker it, that one can slide so when the fish picks you up it can't really hear you I feel you so the little bead there that's just to stop it from tangling and yeah my traces are more or less the same the hook is just a little bit shorter than the sinker and I would say they're just shy of a meter they're about 70 or 80 centimeters um, throwing a braided leader let me just show you guys that so there's my braided leader it's 80 pound and this last section I put about a, a one meter one and a half meter piece of um, a piece of nylon just to stop it from tangling and stuff Stinnies are quiet, they don't want to eat, they don't know what's going on, but they're very quiet. The rhino is standing there. There we go. I am not really keen to go in that far. It's alright. Better. Better. I'm just gonna stand right here. I'm not doing that. It's too cold for that now. <laughs> I'm gonna throw a little bit left of him. Boom chaka laka Okay, we got something Okay, so we got something here yeah? uh, Feels like a sand shock oh, See now Sticking his head into the sand the whole time So probably a sandy There's at least a bot. Oh, there's a bubble. Ah. Boo. Yo. There's a proper bubble. A giant. Okay, so there's the right way to grab these boys. Um, nurse is spike, nurse is spike, nurse is spike. You, a big fat one, this. The rod is on. Steady! We were just saying. We can't believe there's no bark. Oi, oi, she's shaking! She's shaking! <laughs> so we were just saying that we can't believe there's no bark here. Huh? Rana goes fast. Cob! Yeah, yeah, it looks like a cob then. We got something shaking there. But we like it to be a small cob. Cob! Feels like, looks like a cob. We're gonna cook him. I wanna eat him. Oh. I've already been catching these monsters that I can't eat. <laughs> oh, there's something coming there. Cobble Joe! There's a little cop in the corner. Could be just a size. Pretty colors, eh? Yeah. Woo! He's a lacquer cable jokey. Lacquer eating sauce. He looks just just sauce. We're it's gonna quite check a now. Little fishy. Healthy. No, he's very healthy. Constarden's papa. All of them, yeah, are healthy. Squid baits got him properly. In the Thanks mouth. I think Rhino just saved the day. <laughs> it's been very quiet. Other than my barbell, it's been very, very quiet. <laughs> I think we're gonna chow this Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna chow that boy, pal. 
No, just double check that he saws, but I think he is saws. You're gonna chop him. Okay, so we're checking the saws. That's a good guess. I'll say 65. No, 60, we 60. guess 65. 66 centimeters. Perfect size to keep. Good eating. We've got something to eat at least. I had a little bit of a, a nibble there. I'll check it out. No, oh, the sun, eh? It's incredible. Oh. Just that little bit of light coming through. And boom, fast, first box. So, like that. We got something. We're not going home empty handed. Oh, yes, we own something. There we go. <laughs> we own something, yeah? <laughs> Hey, 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 <laughs> all of a sudden, back. Jeez, and it just started. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so finally, a little bit of sun. And the bath. I don't know what this is. It's like an edible. That's the edible fish bowl. You can see it pulled a bit of line too. <laughs> <laughs> no barbel pulls line no. unless you're catching on steroids. Yeah, right. It's not a barbel. Check out the like foam at the back there, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. It feels heavy, but it doesn't feel heavy. Maybe a cob. They like opening their mouths. Mouth. Like that. Could be another cob, yeah. Not a thump, a steady thump. Cob got that. That's an apple yeah. shake. Yeah. What a bit of weight. Hey! That's a cop. That's a cop. Ooh, they're eating fish tonight. <laughs> and uh, Melissa was like, bring us home some fish. Provide something for us. Don't put them all back. <laughs> <laughs> I think a cop shoal of cob at the bank here. Oh. What do you guess this? I guess five kilos. It's a bit bigger than mine. Got a bit of water to come and pull him. Uh, that's a bit bigger, Bob. Dude! Oh, the cheeks! Similar size, y'all. Just a bit bigger. Oh, gem, man. I love it when it does those pins. Yeah. This one looks like it swallowed the hook. No. Can you see the hook? Yeah, you can. Yeah, it swallowed it. So this is the perfect keeping size. Rana's got one, I've got one. The rest is going back. Sweet. <laughs> These are the right fish to keep. Um, look, you can see there in the mouth, the hook's gone. <laughs> So these are the right size fish to keep. Um, maximum one per person, and they need to be 60 centimeters. So this one's well over that, but this is the right size. This is the perfect eating size. Lekker. Trying to measure him. Uh, you can say 82 centimeters. Anything under about 90 centimeters is all right. It's a very nice eating fish. Um, I believe that they only start sexually maturing at about one meter. I'm not sure. It's probably dependent on quite a few things. Um, but this uh, this fish is more than beautiful to eat. Oh, it's like a fat as well. I often tell my clients as well, guys, if it's under 100 centimeters, we can eat it. Under like 95 odd. It's fun. Oh, Rhino's on. Rhino's fast. Chee, 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 chee. <laughs> He's getting stretched. <laughs> you fast. Taking string. What on earth? Skinny. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lazy. Hey, hey, hey. 
all of a sudden things get heated, eh? Wine, 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 he's coming your sinker. It's your sinker that. So I say keep tight too. There we go. Love of this is a big cop. I would love it. Fighting strange, eh? He's going into that current section there. Okay, so what you guys will see, what we do often, is we move back. Um, he's going further and further away from the sea. What we do is we try and get more distance between us and the fish. That means more leverage on the rod. The rod takes up all the action. That's why a rod is a nice soft tip. Brilliant when you're fishing for edibles. And the rod takes up all that punishment of the fish shaking its head or whatever. And we have no idea what this is. I hope it's a big cop for his sake. Show me he hasn't caught a big fish in a long time, a big cop. But it's moving like an edible, so we'll see just now. Okay, so we just saw it. And I think it's an eagle ray or a duck bill. Looks like I was wrapped in the line or something. That's why I was fighting so weird. Yoo-hoo! Big old eagle. <laughs> the monster eagle. Big old eagle, eh? Bugger. But I was thinking you're a cob. Hehe! <laughs> So Rana is passing another cob again. I think it's another cob. Um, I saw the bite and when I hit it I saw it just the shake so here it is. I'm gonna get his stuff ready. I'm gonna put this little oaky back so long. Look after them, guys. We all love catching these little boys. Okay, how's it, guys? Catch Cook Nation, how are you guys? So, I have a little bit of a dilemma. I have already cut the fish. I thought I had good footage of that, but like it completely lagged out, um, dropped frames and everything. So unfortunately, I can't show you guys how I'm filleting and everything in the cob we caught today. So I apologize for that. I really do. I'm going to show you in the next one or so how I do the whole filleting and cleaning process. Please forgive me, guys. As I say, I only realized now when I changed the battery on this one that there is no no footage of whatsoever me filleting, but. I am, I did spice everything and I am about to put it in a pan. So there's my pan, got a little bit of olive oil in it. Um, I am going to to make some, some rice with the, with the fish. I'm trying to make like a curry-ish fishy, I don't know. <laughs> I'm really bad at making curries. So I'm gonna try and make like a curry fishy thingy on rice. And I'm no, I'm not gonna make the fancy rice. I, I've opted for this bad boy. It's really nice. I use it often, so I really like it. Okay, so sweet. <coughs> let's get going. And let's get cooking this bad boy. Apologies again, guys. I'm so sorry for the filleting and everything. I really didn't. I checked too late. Rookie mistake. Real red light was flashing, but there was nobody home on the other side. So I really do apologize for that. But cool, let's get cracking. Okay, so basically, I just... Spice the fish a little bit with some barbecue spice, a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm letting that sit just for a little bit. Um, just want to get most of the excess water off that I just rinse the fish with. I don't like rinsing a fish. And now I am boiling some water for the for the rice. 
So, okay, first things first, some rice in there. What's nice about this, it's got its own. Oh, there's some more. I like this, man. Who doesn't like this? Quick and easy. It's probably not as tasty as most of you guys can whip up, but I like this. That should be fine. Why I use boiling water? This is going to speed up the process just a little bit. Okay. Ooh, yummy! Just turn it all nice all over the place. Okay, so there's a place called the Spice Cafe, and apparently that's where all the real stuff comes from. So I'm just going to make a little bit of a paste. This is a little garlic powder, some fish spice. Some fish masala. This is the real stuff. Oh, look at that. Oh, it smells beautiful. And some smoked paprika. I don't think really like this one. And if I don't get all the spices all over the place, I might live to see the end of tomorrow. A little bit of that. Just added a little bit of water and now I'm just going to just stir it up a little bit and just let it sit for the slack. Okay, so these bad boys are ready. Just look at that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yummy. Oh man, oh man, oh man. This is gonna be so delicious. Okay, now I'm going to just fry the rest and then we're gonna make our paste. Ooh, just look. Mm, yum, yum, yum. See, quick, quick. 20 minutes. Rice like this is amazing. I like it. Cool, let's add our paste. Oh, the smell coming from that. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna turn the heat down just a little. Okay. And let that cook a little bit. Okay, so basically the rice is cooked all the way through. Turn the heat off there. And let's just take it off the plate. Okay, so we've cooked this quite a bit. It's about, I would say, 89 minutes. Mm -hmm. You guys, oh, I wish you guys could smell it. Oh, it smells amazing. Okay, so now I'm going to put the fish back in. Tasty mixing thing. So, oh, getting some nice color. Drop me a recipe in the comments or something guys. As you guys can see, I'm not really familiar with all the curry and everything. So, especially some of the guys who really masters at this. Please drop us some recipes. Recipes, feel free to comment and go crazy. I know I'm probably not doing the best job here. But that's what's also fun about this Cash Cook Initiative. Like it's, do your own thing. Try different things and I mean, you know where the fish comes from, you know the process it was harvested by, so everything is, is done by the book and everything is proper, so it's very sustainable to catch your own stuff. So, yeah, oh, this looks amazing. Dish up some rice. So fresh, it's like falling apart. There's my version of a 
curry fish. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. As I said, leave, a, leave us a comment in the box below. Give me some recipes, give me something um, to work with. Maybe I can improve my cooking skills as well. And also don't forget to check out our catchcook.com catch website. It's got all these cool merch on it and there's some cool wetsuit pants, fishing gear, no clothing to keep you warm when you're fishing and everything. Um, and also hit the bell notification, I think it's going to be on this side somewhere, yeah. Hit the notification button so you know when, when we post something you can be right on the ball. Sweet! Okay, folks, thanks for the watch and we'll see you at the sea. Woo. I think I accidentally took the hot one. <laughs> mm, delicious though. Yum. This is delicious. Ah.